Welcome back to Blender Daily. In this video I want to show you a really cool free add-on to generate random spaceships in Blender. Let's get started. Alright, so first of all you need to download and install the add-on. It is called Spaceship Generator and you can get it for free from GitHub. I put the link to this page into the video description. So down here we have a few examples of what this add-on is capable of. And we also get a few general explanations on the add-on. You could read this if you want to. However, I don't think this is really necessary since the add-on is extremely easy to use. Now in order to download it, just go to code and choose download zip. Save this somewhere on your PC and make sure to keep it as a zip file and don't unzip it because we're going to use this in Blender in order to install it. So just go up to edit, preferences and in the add-ons tab click install to add a new add-on. Select the zip file that you just downloaded and choose install add-on. I've already done this. So when I search for spaceship generator, I already have this in here. Also make sure that you tick this checkbox so that the add-on is enabled. So now we can start using it. So first of all, let's delete all the objects that I already have in the scene and maybe also disable the 3D cursor and we can bring in our first spaceship. So in order to do this, just press Shift A and under Mesh, we now have this spaceship option. So we get this randomly generated spaceship. This already looks pretty cool. However, it gets even better if we switch to shading mode and you can see that it also added the material to it. We can further customize this spaceship by opening up this menu in the bottom left corner and playing with those settings. And whenever you change any of those settings, we'll get a new randomly generated spaceship. So you have a lot of options to adjust. And yeah, there are a lot of variations that you can get. If you don't want to change the settings, but still get randomly random spaceships, just type in random numbers to this seed value and you'll get different spaceships. Let's maybe type in 15, let's see what we get. And yeah, I think this is a really cool one. So let's just go with this one. I'm gonna close this menu. And if I tap into edit mode, you can see that this is really low poly and all the details that we get are just from the normal map in the shader. We could also further adjust this. So maybe switch to the face selection mode, select those two faces and create an inset with I, E to extrude this upwards, control B, maybe add a bevel. And you can see that we can just add our own parts and customize this and the material will still work since it uses the object coordinates and is not dependent on the UV coordinates. So maybe let's make another adjustments. I and can I to make those individual insets. E and extrude it inwards. So you can really customize your spaceships. So I really think this is a cool add-on and you should definitely check it out if you want to create sci-fi scenes in Blender. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around until the end. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.